Hello, welcome back to All About Community. Again, my name is Robert L. Harris. I am your host, and my guest is Dana Lane. Dana is a candidate yes. for the BART Board of Directors District 7, right here in Alameda County, yes. except a little bit of San Francisco. A I guess. little bit of San Francisco, <laughs> so I'll be on two ballots. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Yes. That's better than being on one ballot because <laughs> you've got two chances now. Yes. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, now, if elected, what will be your top priorities? Well, my top priority will be safety. I want to make sure there are some of the uh, riding. What do you mean? You mean Bart isn't safe? <laughs> 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 it's safer with me, okay, but safer with, we're, with it's Dana. getting safer. Good. But I also am a member of, I'm vice chair of the police oversight board for oh, you still BART vice chair police. Now? Yes. Oh, okay. For BART police. Right. So I'm working with BART police and chief it, it, Kevin Franklin. It's similar to the uh, police review board here in Oakland. Yes. And other police similar review Similar parallel, board. but right. it is a police oversight but board. But it's oversight, yeah. I remember yes. I had the chief on here several years ago when yes. they had another chief other than the one they have now. And it yeah. is, um, I think that police oversight is a movement. I've had a chance to go into... What do you mean a movement? It is a movement to make sure that there's engagement between police and the public. And I'm a part of that movement. I find my voice and talking to the chief and talk, and he likes me. Uh, who, who, who is the current chief now? The current chief of the BART police is Kevin Franklin. Okay. Chief Kevin Franklin, he's a good guy. Okay. And well, we if can, he says a good guy, I believe it. <laughs> we can work together. All right. But he has, he, he takes what I say seriously, mm -hmm. and he, he's willing to make changes. So I think it's, um, it's something I'm able to connect with him. I can connect to the community. I can listen to people's concerns, and I can take them back to the chief. So, so you think that BART is becoming safer? Safer. So that is my number one priority. Oh, okay. It's safer, but we need to let the public know that it's safer. And how, how do you let the public know that? Well, we are, um, our BART Police Community Review Board is going out to the public to table at events with the BART, okay. with BART so that we're telling people so this you're is communicating out to the public yes okay and particularly in the summer and spring will be all of us will be there but i i have two Go other ahead. priorities sure. cleanliness in this oh, day of yeah. covid Ooh, everyone i wish we could get some <laughs> cleanliness in the city of Oakland. I mean, yes. have you seen what's going on here in Oakland? Yeah. You know, it's, I, I wouldn't advise you to start getting into that politics. <laughs> it's but too late. It is I'm absolutely ridiculous. Transportation. Yeah, so cleanliness, people care, especially since right. COVID. And then thirdly is station life. I want to make sure that we have affordable housing around the stations, which mm. we're getting. But I've been to some, seeing some of the housing, the transit-oriented development and retail, and it's the housing, while there are people beginning to rent at MacArthur and and, and Coliseum. I, I'm and on the, the board of the Oakland Economic Development uh, Council. I don't see the station life that we deserve. I don't mm -hmm. want people to drop their bags, I mean, or get off yeah. Bart and run, or get off what Bart and go into Bart the station. I mean, you people mean people say, get off Bart and start running? And they dead head into their, you know, whether it's Lyft or their car, they uh, don't waste time getting to a protected place. You want, I them, want you want them to get off and be able to uh, mingle or whatever? I see the opportunities for farmer's markets, oh, for yeah, retail, idea. for a for, you Are know. there any now, anywhere in the BART system, farmer's I, market and stuff like mm, that? I'm definitely, but there's you know, always been a farmer's market at, at um, uh, in uh, the, uh, at Ashby. Ashby. It oh, is yeah. a farmer's right, market right. paradise. But, but um, that can be it is a market. In other places I think we well, there right? to some degree there will be mm -hmm. appropriate retail, and when mm -hmm. there wherever there's retail, there's opportunities for additional um, guide, uh, additional eyes and ears on the system, mm -hmm. whether it's officers or um, crisis intervention specialists, ambassadors. There's uh, you know the lease revenue created mm -hmm. by that by that marketplace creates an opportunity now, do you have for ambassadors on the BART train well, right now? now there is there is a um, a group mm 
that has ambassadors under Deputy Chief Jason Scott, mm -hmm. um, where he has he does have a a group of ambassadors, crisis intervention specialists who address issues that um, patrons are having. So. It, and they address them without the force of a police officer. Mm -hmm. So when there are lifestyle issues, they are the eyes and ears, but they are also there to help people. So, I mean, that's a, a great thing, but, you know, we need to make sure that they're, you know, that people know this so that uh, the more they know about safety measures that BART has taken, uh, the, you know, the more likely we want to get the passengers back. We want them to feel safe. How many, <clears throat> how many passengers did we lose during the pandemic? Okay, you we've know, lost sixty percent. We've 60%. lost sixty percent of our ridership. Mm. The aver average daily ridership was one hundred and sixty people before the pandemic. I mean, I'm sorry, it was four hundred and ten people, uh, thousand, right. four hundred and ten thousand per day before the pandemic. I was one of those. <laughs> going out to the airport when I worked for SFO mm -hmm. and it's dropped to it dropped way down and it's the last three years it's been about a hundred and sixty thousand per day which is only forty percent that's not making fair box return that's forty percent of what it was before forty percent but it is rising and, and that's a it's, good thing it's been stable but we need to get it back well clearly Bart has been uh, since I believe approximately 1972, really yes. an important vehicle. And it's so critical that we utilize BART, but mm -hmm. at the same time, we want to make certain, and Dana is going to do that, do yes. that make certain that BART is yes. safe. So don't touch that remote, <laughs> just put it down. We okay. will be right back with All About Community. <laughs> my name is Robert L. Harris, and I am your host. And my guest is Dana Lane.